Ah, there you go, friends. Doc South here, and oi, tell you, all this uh, epidemic um, stuff going on is, I tell you, these, uh, it, it's kind of tough right now with COVID. A lot of people getting sick, and uh, I guess uh, they're, they're, I think they're, they're pretty close to getting it figured out and all that. It's, uh, again, just one of these uh, viruses that come along. And um, I guess you got to work your way through them. Somehow or another, I think eventually you're, the, the general population builds an immunity. And after a while, uh, COVID right now, serious as can be, but give it, you know, two or three years, I can hear the boss now. What? You got COVID and you're not coming into work? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I can hear it now. You get your tail in here right now. God love a duck. We need we need workers. I You can almost, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, I, there's so many, so if you look into it, it's, it's actually, it's kind of, fun. it's not fun, but it's interesting uh, to go to your computer and check uh, infectious diseases and plagues through history. There have been a lot of them. I'm thinking there's, I, last night in bed, I was sitting there thinking, laying there in bed, thinking of the different diseases I've seen in my 76 years of life now. I'm trying to think, gee, can I get them all in? Uh, let's see, there was measles. Measles was actually pretty wild. When you caught measles as, as a kid, you had to go sit in a room a darkened room for like uh, two weeks. Yeah. And uh, you you weren't supposed to spread that around. Of course, there were kids uh, in the late, well, the late um, 50s that were catching polio. And Lord, that was a very bad disease. You had to uh, be in an iron lung, something that could, would breathe for you. If I recall right, I think that's how an iron lung worked. Gosh, you had... Uh, Oh, just so many, so many things. Legionnaire's disease. I know I'm not naming them all, but that was a biggie. In fact, I think I had Legionnaire's disease because you got that off of cooling towers, right? There was some kind of microbe in, a, in cooling tower water that if you didn't kill that bacteria, well, uh, the spray, the droplets of water coming in, the random sprays of water coming in from your air conditioner, or working near one would make you uh, quite ill, uh, very ill. Uh, we, um, and I think I did catch that because I used to work around cooling towers, and luckily I beat it off in about three days. But I was, I was honestly, I don't know when I was sicker. Okay, yeah, I know. So you're pretty sick already, Doc. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, what else? Gosh, there's of course all the recent. Uh, things going on. AIDS. Good Lord, what could be more uh, more horrendous than having having AIDS? Um, there, there's just so many things that have been out there, and there've been around the, these these various things come and go, I guess, and eventually you build, I guess, what would you call it, herd immunity. There, I'm just looking here. I I've got this on the computer, and and again, I'm no expert, but there was actually in what. Uh, say 180 A.D., uh, 600 million people died from something called the Antonine Plague or the Plague of Galen. Um, it, it, that's quite a few people. Um, that was, gosh, that would be darn near most of the population of the planet. Uh, you had the Plague of Cyprian. Uh, that was uh, the Roman Empire around... Uh, uh, 250 uh, A.D. Uh, you can imagine, th probably no one was showing up at the Colosseum for that one. Uh, you have the Plague of Justinian in 541 A.D. Um, estimated 10,000 people daily dying during that. Uh, and it, uh, it was chills, fever, abdominal pain, and uh, headaches. Sounds familiar, don't it? Uh, the bubonic plague, heaven help you with that. I think you got these these big old awful, uh, I think they called them bubos. They were like these lumps. Oh, my God. It, and they were all infectious. If if you broke it open, I think the, the disease spread more. I think. I could be wrong on that. 
seem to remember hearing, though, you had to watch uh, those those welts that developed from that. And uh, they were more like, uh, like an infectious blister, from what I gather. You had a plague in Moscow in the late 1700s. Uh, it was pretty much a, a, a rematch of the bubonic plague. Uh, there's bubonic plague's been around a long time, and evidently when it hits, look out, mama. Spanish flu. Uh, let's see, I think that happened around, yeah, the early 1900s. I believe my grandmother, who was a nurse, uh, worked on that. When the soldiers came home, uh, a lot of them had this uh, Spanish flu, and I think she uh, attended to them at a military hospital. I'm pretty sure Grandma did. She used to talk about how people were uh, very, very ill, and, and many, uh, and again, it was younger uh, soldiers, people who should be in good shape, but they uh, didn't do didn't do well with the Spanish flu. There, there's just one thing after another: smallpox, malaria. Yeesh! I, I see now why the flying saucers just fly over and don't land. <laughs> Look at those people. They're all, did you see all those people sneezing? Uh, go, let's go. Let's go over to another planet. Get out of here. And uh, it's, um, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, I don't know. We're like the waiting room of the universe, I guess. Everybody coughing and hacking and uh, <laughs> barfing and stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's not good. The, um, so I, you know, I think when I, I sometimes, I don't know myself, I, when there's a shot available, if there's a shot available that helps you knock down whatever di the disease du jour, I am so in favor of it. Now, I know some of you feel otherwise, and that's, that's, that's certainly your right uh, to do what you want with uh, your, um, you know, with your uh, situation, with your body. And, uh, but me, I don't know. I've done knock wood. I've done pretty well with, um, with most infectious diseases, at least so far, so good. So far, so good. Gotten through a lot of them without being that awful ill. My trouble is getting into cars. <laughs> that's <laughs> getting into cars, climbing things. That's when I get hurt. Look out, mama. I'm always running into a darn door or something. Or a you know a guardrail or what have you falling somewhere, it's uh, the 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 bugs don't seem to bother me. It's everything. <laughs> Maybe I got to watch where I'm walking. Okay, so uh, but um or driving. So anyway, let's hope all this uh, all this COVID stuff will soon uh, be uh, just a just a paragraph or two and in a computer, maybe uh, 60, 70 years from now. Let's hope. As I know, it, it's certainly very serious if you catch it. But so was malaria. So was bubonic plague, the Black Death. All of those were pretty bad, too. At least, at least we seem to have an awful lot of good medical knowledge now that seems to hold these things at bay. I, I would think um, COVID, maybe back in the uh, 1500s, might have the way it looks, it could have wiped out the planet. No one would have known what to do. So, so we're uh, even though it's bad to be ill, we're kind of lucky in that we live in an era where uh, a lot of advances have been made. So, I guess that's a that's a good thing too. Oh yeah, Lord's Prayer moment for all those people that have suffered over time with one illness or another and are still in many cases. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. So be it. You know, myself, I think what I need I need to figure out some way of not losing teeth right and left. Yeah, uh huh. I, I've got, <laughs> I, let's see. I, I could use a cure for baldness. And uh, right now my eye is very itchy. Do you see this one eye? This one? Look at that thing. Actually, this one don't look any. Well, this one's a little wider. But this one's all itchy and stuff. 
Oh, God. Other than that, I feel great. Yeah. Happy as a clam for, for my age. I, I feel kind of blessed. And uh, anyway, I hope you do too. We'll see you later. Me, I would... Uh, it's been my experience. I don't want to tell anybody uh, what they should do or anything, but I, I've done well getting vaccinations. They always seem to help. I know um, when AIDS was around on the rescue squad, there was there was no uh, if ands, bits, or buts. Yeah. You guys get over here. <laughs> You're all going to give each other a shot in the arm, and that's it. Okay, so uh, I, I seem to remember there was something you could take and uh, that would help. And uh, we had to do it. And that's it. Shut up. <laughs> and uh, I seem to remember that was the case. Uh, and it was, uh, I guess it was a good idea. I don't know if it was actually a vaccine. I think it was something that would boost our immune system. Not necessarily go specifically against AIDS. We still had to be careful. Mask up, gloves, stuff like that. So anyway, I'll see you later. God bless. Bye now.